We've been hearing about the disaster of Obamacare for so long. In my case, many years, most of it outside in civilian life. And for a long period of time since I started running and since I became President of the United States, I just keep hearing repeal, replace, repeal, replace. Well, we're starting that process and we're starting it in a very positive manner. And I can say, when you get Rand Paul on your side, it has to be positive. That I can tell you. <laughs> Boy. Rand. <laughs> I was just saying, as he's getting up and saying all these wonderful things about what we're going to be announcing, I said, Boy, that's pretty unusual. I'm very impressed. <laughs> But seven years ago, congressional Democrats broke the American health care system by forcing the Obamacare nightmare onto the American people. It has been a nightmare. You look at what's happening with the premiums and the increases of 100 percent and 120 percent, and even in one case, Alaska, over 200 percent. And now every congressional Democrat has blocked the effort to save Americans from Obamacare, along with a very small frankly, handful of Republicans, three. And we're going to take care of that also because I believe we have the votes to do block grants at a little bit later time, and we'll be able to do that. Premiums have gone skyrocketing. But today, one-third of all the counties in America have only a single insurer selling coverage on an exchange. And next year, it looks like nearly half of all counties in our country Think of that. All of the counties, one half, will have only one sh insurer. And many will have none. Many will have absolutely created roadblocks for people to have any form of the insurance we're talking about. This is why, in a few moments, I will sign an executive order taking the first steps to providing millions of Americans with Obamacare relief. It directs the Department of Health and Human Services, the Treasury, and the Department of Labor to take action to increase competition, increase choice, and increase access to lower-priced, high-quality health care options. And they will have so many options. This will cost the United States government virtually nothing. And people will have great, great health care. And when I say people, I mean by the millions and millions. First, we aim to allow more small businesses to form associations to buy affordable and competitive health insurance. This would open up additional options for employers to purchase the health plans their workers want. I'm also directing Secretary Acosta to consider ways to expand these associations and these health care plans all across state lines. This will create tremendous competition and transformative, in so many ways, change aimed at creating more and lower prices for millions of Americans. But the competition will be staggering. Insurance companies will be fighting to get every single person signed up. And you will be, hopefully, negotiating, negotiating, negotiating. And you'll get such low prices for such great care. It should have been done a long time ago. And it could have been done a long time ago. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.